said it was only proper that Jimmy Stewart be here because he was a general in the Air Force. He did so much wonderful work for the USO going to Vietnam. And he played the title role in the film, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Mr. Smith was a feisty guy who taught Washington a thing or two about democracy. Now I'm going to suggest that Mr. Smith goes to Baghdad and say a few words. <laughs> Let's bring him up here, Mr. Jimmy Stewart, right here. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm glad you could make it to our yellow ribbon party. Oh, I wouldn't miss this for the world, Bob. I, but uh, I want you to know it cost me $45 to get here on a cab. $45? Well, you don't live that far away. I know, but the driver had the meter running while I was giving him directions. <laughs> Jimmy, if you had been in charge of the war, it would have taken 100 hours just to get out the word attack. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, did you hear Saddam Hussein is now promising his country democracy? Hmm. Bob, I, I, I know a little bit about government, and, and I can think of a lot of Mr. Smith would rather be, but if, if he could settle things, why, uh, he'd go to Baghdad. I, for myself, I've always had a warm spot in my heart for the, 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 in this part of the world. Remember, I knew Alibaba and 38 of the 40 thieves personally. <laughs> I'm pretty sure President Bush should send Mr. Smith to Iraq but because he knows Mr. Smith would be the voice of one crying in the wilderness. In the wilderness of misguided people bamboozled by a monster who deserves the same kind of sentimental farewell they gave to Hitler and Mussolini. And... Yeah. 